Hello boys and girls, welcome to Benchart, time for Classic and welcome to Scarlet Nexus, a game developed by Toze and also Bandai Namco Entertainment. It is using Unreal Engine 4 and so I decided to take the Intel HD 620 to the test with this game. So I'm running the game with 720p with all settings on low aside from until viewing which I'm using TXAA and I'm going to lock the game to 30 frames per second due to the temperatures. Now the issue is there is something weird going on with the Intel version uh, of I mean with the with the Intel GPU because for example when I disable on TV Azing or when I do use FXAA everything just looks unstable you know if you look to the buildings uh, the pixels are all over the place and this doesn't happen on my Nvidia card even using the same settings so I'm going to re-enable TXAA so that the things get more normal or as it should the thing is there is clearly something wrong if you're going to compare with my MX130 video you will notice that there is something off uh, with the graphics on the Intel. The game it is playable and uh, I, w I wasn't able to notice what was different but clearly there is something wrong with uh, the way that the game it is being rendered. So as for the performance, uh, performance it is fine, it runs mostly above 30 frames per second. 20% of the time the game was lower than 30 frames per second but for the most part it was just cutscenes you know cutscenes and uh, special attacks or when traversing the map there was uh, small stutters and stuff going on when that uh, thing happen when those moments appear I mean that's where you can expect uh, the performance to be lower than 30 frames per second but I, I really think it is super playable the visuals despite like I was telling you there is clearly something wrong in here uh, despite all of that I you think that uh, it looks great uh, anyway so yeah I think it's playable but I mean I'm trying to uncover what the hell is wrong with the visuals that is really something that it is not on pair with my Nvidia GPUs uh, I'm not really sure what it is I'm not really sure if there are the futuristic uh, that it is missing or something that is clearly something wrong with the rendering so you might be losing something if you if you play with this Intel GPU now one good thing about this game is that uh, theoretically uh, if you play with the low settings the game still looks awesome we find because the differences between the low medium and high in this game are very small for example texture quality on this game this only affects the anisotropic filtering so it's not a demanding thing shadow quality I have no idea but shadow quality on this game are just blobs uh, on the open world area all right so it's not going to affect that much uh, what you see and there is also the post processing and that's the post processing it is exactly what I've noticed the biggest difference uh, but I only was able to notice more during the cutscene so on low you don't have depth of field as you can see during this cutscene there is no depth of field in here on median you start to have depth of field a good quality one though and also per object motion blur during the cutscenes and with post processing on eye you just get a higher refinement of the motion blur and the depth of field looks so much better so depth of field on eye I believe it is using bokeh because it impacts a little bit more the frame rate but it is pretty much that as you can see the game on low you pretty much have everything the shadows the the lightning the reflections all over the place so the game looks good even on low it's just something is wrong with the intel gpu which i'm not really able to to uncover until now but well looking and thinking about that i think it's good because if i'm not able to uncover what's different uh, comparing to my nvidia gpus running at the same settings well in that case i think the intel is doing fine i'm just a little bit worrier that in, uh, in other scenarios you might notice kind of glitches, visual glitches or something because the Intel GPU might need better drivers. Alright, so that's all about the performance and quality. Let's talk a little bit about the game. So the first thing I want to tell about Scarlet Nexus is its visual art style and its graphics. I mean, well, the cutscenes of this game, the real-time cutscenes, 
and simple with the animation stuff, uh, the, the art style of the open world map, it's just the visuals are just great. I mean, it's not really the best in the world graphics out there, and it's not really about it. It's really the art style. It is simply great. I really like what I'm seeing in here on the cutscenes and everything. I'm not really a fan of the static image cutscenes, but the real-time cutscenes are simply amazing, in my opinion. It looks like a really good anime that I'm watching on the TV, and I usually don't watch this kind of stuff. So, <laughs> it's really great. This is my opinion overall. The visual, artistic style, everything about the visuals in this game, it just nails it. Alright, this is just my opinion. When it comes to the opinion of the others that played much more of the game than me, uh, people reference that the gameplay it is king in this game. Gameplay it is everything. So it is kind of an hack and slash and you have psychokinesis uh, types of attacks and you will unlock tons of stuff which will make the combat very very interesting according to what I've seen so far from what I've reading on online. It's really good. Now, the things that I do enjoy the most, I mean, the cutscenes and story and the visual art style. The visual art style will continue throughout the game, but the, they say that the story eventually will fall apart a lot. It starts to get confusing and it starts to fall short entirely. So, this is one of the warnings that I've seen about the game. It is really the story is not as good as we were expecting. And, well, that is also other thing that isn't as good. The side content that this game have, they say that they are, it's just fillers. It's not going to change anything in game. It's not going to modify you or anything. It's just, it's, they are just fillers. They are just there just to uh, take you time inside the world of the game. And, well, that's about it according to reviewers out there. Now, this game, it is a full price game, so it should cost you on Steam $59.99, so it's super expensive. And it should last you for about, on average, between 20 to 25 hours, assuming that you will be doing some grinding and that you will fulfill some side content. I believe you will need to do it anyway to beat some of the bosses, maybe, because if you don't do it, you might be very low level or not have the enough skill to beat some of the bosses or some of the enemies. So... Probably this is what you're going to last mostly between 20 to 25 hours. But if it's if it's not really the case of this game and you can do just the only main stuff of the game, I'm assuming that this is going to last much less than 20 hours. So it's not really a big, big game. But uh, for me, I would say this. This is the, the type of hours that I do enjoy in game. I don't like games with 100 hours or more. I like games more... You know, more in between. Not very small, unless they are very focused action games or indies. But not as big, because I might grow tired of it. So, Scarlet Nexus have this duration, according to them. And I guess that's all that I want to talk about Scarlet Nexus. So, hope you keep enjoying the rest of the, the, the video. That's it. Thank you a lot for watching, and I do hope to see you soon. Goodbye. It's them! The guys I saw at Simuragi Tomb! <gasps> Ten seconds from now... Yeah, they're in trouble. Even I can tell. Take care of the guy who got knocked down just now. I can handle that other alone. Got it!
That's odd. You a civilian? Huh? It's her. Oh. You're OSF? Oh, no, I'm a cadet. I see. Either way, our goal is the same. What do you mean, goal? Are you an idiot? Huh? Shh. Something's coming. Huh? What's coming? Here we go. Huh? Okay. OSF too. You can use brain talk. Do you see what's happening? Let's talk after we take out the others. I can still fight. 